It's a walk off. It's a walk off. Uh, so the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty is a treaty that was signed in order to prevent countries that did not already have nuclear weapons technology from achieving nuclear weapons technology. Um, this year, 2010, we are reviewing the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty um, in order to uh, reinforce its message to countries that currently do not have nuclear weapons and countries that do currently have nuclear weapons. And you can help um, by educating people about the importance of this treaty. Remind friends and family that a world without nuclear weapons is a world that you want in your future for yourself and your children. The Non-Proliferation Treaty entered into force into 1970 with the purpose of preventing the spread of nuclear weapons and facilitating their gradual abolition from the entire world. There are every country in the world is a signatory with the exception of Israel, India, Pakistan, and North Korea. Boo to them. The Non-Proliferation Treaty is reviewed every five years by signatories. 2005, unproductive. We're not going to go into the reasons why, but we could say the United States of America was not a productive or beneficial contributor to that discussion. 2010, we have great hopes. But what specifically will we be discussing? There are three pil pillars to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. The first pillar, non-proliferation. The nuclear weapon states, USA, Russia, China, France, and the United Kingdom, have promised not to spread nuclear weapons technology to the rest of the world. In exchange, the other nuclear, the non-nuclear weapon states will not pursue nuclear weapons program. Pillar 2, disarmament. Article 6, very important disarmament, says that nuclear weapon states will pursue good faith negotiations towards the cessation of nuclear weapons throughout the world. Pillar 3, Every country is guaranteed the peaceful use of nuclear energy. Iran is our main contender here. It should be noted that since 1970, when the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty entered into force, it has become much easier to move from a peaceful civilian nuclear energy program to a nuclear weapons program. This much plutonium is all that is needed for a viable nuclear device. That's very scary and it's posing great problems for us as we try to monitor uranium enrichment in Iran. Focusing on Excuse me. Can you uh, wrap it up? Fine. Action. What action can citizens take? Well, it should be noted, in the USA, 77% of us believe that we should have total nuclear disarmament in a staged process. In Russia, 69%, China, 83%, UK, 81%, France, 86%. Citizens in these countries need to contact their legislators, need to contact their leaders. We need to get more educated because we can't just say, yes, we want eventual global zero. We have to have specifics. We have to say strengthen the non-proliferation treaty ratify in the U.S. the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. We need to push for fissile material treaty cutoff. Damn it. Fissile materials cutoffs. And March. Join us in May in New York for the Non-Proliferation Treaty. There's going to be the Non-Proliferation Treaty Review Conference. There's going to be a march. There's going to be a festival. We need to get active. We need to get organized. And we need to make noise about this. I'm done. Yeah, that was supposed to be a minute.